All right, guys, time is a ticking. Time is a ticking. I thought I'd make a video for the Bassaholics on this channel, all five of you. Wow, there's got to be more than that, right? So I'm in a place where you have to leave at sunset, and sunset is not too far off. I was just catching catfish, but that slowed down to the rate of molasses in wintertime. Got bored. So let's see what we can do. We're going to pond hop on our way out of here. I brought a Ziploc full of different baits between crawl baits, creature baits, swim baits, and Cinco's. I don't think we're going to have time to go through this whole Ziploc bag, but it's usually what I bring. We want to throw swim baits to start off. We're going to start off with this. This is a watermelon red fluke, but it's a swimming super fluke, California. I haven't used these in quite some time. Here we go. So we're going to fish this on a 3 aught weighted swim bait hook by owner. And so 1 16th ounce weighted one. It's got a screw lock on it. This bait looks a little too big for this size of hook, but this is the size of weight I want to use. We can always switch to something else. There's a beaver lodge on this pond. It's actually called Beaver Pond. That's the beaver lodge right in front of us with that tree growing out of it. Or maybe that tree's dead. The reason why I'm using 1 16th ounce weighted hooks is because we're going to be fishing shallow water in this pond. I want to work this along the edges of grass and vegetation, like these tails that we're coming through right here. This pond has a lot of bass in it. Ooh, something just swiped at us. It's also got a lot of shoe pick in it. Lost that first bait, so we're switching to a watermelon red on a 3 aught and we're going to go weightless. This is the slough that is behind the pond. Oh, Litterbug Fisherman's been here. Oh yes, last minute fish. I was losing confidence in this session. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, no, come up out of there. I don't have the net with me. Let's see if we can ski him up. Gentle, 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 gently, gently slide him up here. Yeah, you're right. Got ourselves a nice mud trout here. Last minute fish. We're about to get closed out by the light here. Oh, come on, man. Whoa, you got, I must say, I'm not sure if you can see in this light, but he's got some uh, more pronounced teeth than I've seen on bowfin lately that is nice and we're not going to weigh them because we want to get back out there in the water as soon as possible so we're just going to take him down here he's maybe about four or five pounds something like that maybe even six could be six thousand well i doubt that there you go Kicked right in. Here we go. Oh, no. It was swimming weed. Well, I guess it's not a short video for the Bassaholics on this channel. It's a short video for the mud trout enthusiast on this channel. Yeah, you're right. Well, I might try a little longer, but honestly, I should be taking these boots off right here and putting the shoes on and rolling out. So we're going to close it out right now. If there's some fish before this, boom, something worked for me. Otherwise, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.